So it's amazing to see you here, uh, Danny Trejo. And uh, what's this little show called uh, Man in Arms about here? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So I know it's been on YouTube for years, and you had a couple guest spots in there, and now you were actually host and getting to play with more of the weaponry, looks like. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's not just playing with the weapons. It's learning about the history and how they're made, you know. So it's actually a lot of fun. And uh, it's not exactly school, but you are learning a lot. Absolutely. And uh, when do you feel like your interest in the history of it and everything started? Well, I, you know what? I, I, in school, I never really made student. But but in uh, here, I immediately became I became interested in cultures, in, in uh, history of how these weapons are made. I mean, you know, people that forge like the, the, the uh, katana sword, they, they pass down from generation to generation. So it's an it's a unbelievable history. It's, they're beautifully made, they're very quality, and they can last forever, and they're so priceless, basically. Yeah, um, and, if you, and then if you touch them, they'll cut you. I mean, it's like, it's unbelievable. I asked the question, what are these, how are these, like, compared to a really good steak knife? It's, just, it's you know, it's like comparing a, a hammer to a, you know, because cause these things are, like, just so unbelievably sharp. It's like slicing through butter, you know? <laughs> So now I, I know that uh, you got your start acting in a what people call a very unconventional way, of course. Uh, there was theater uh, back in the, in the prison and everything, right? Well, and, you know, my resume says San Quentin Drama Arts. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, uh, I walked onto a set of a movie called Runaway Train, and I ran into a friend of mine, a guy named Eddie Bunker, who was uh, the writer, who were the writers on this and uh, he asked me if I was still boxing because he saw me box in prison. And, and, uh, and I said, no, I'm training. He said, we need somebody to train one of the actors how to box. So I started training Eric Roberts how to box for the movie Runaway Train. The director saw me, saw that I could handle Eric. So, so he hired me, Andre Kajalowski. And from then on, the rest is history. For the first five years of my career, I played Inmate number one. <laughs> Bad guy number one. You know. Number one, though. Mean guy number one. You know, so. <laughs> now, do you feel like you um, had a switch from the, the from boxing and such to like being interested in the weapons? Like, did, uh, have you had what love for one or the other? Or? Well, you know, you know what? It's like I mean, I, I still love boxing. Boxing is a weapon. I mean, you know, it's like okay, and, and uh, martial arts a weapon. You know, and so so this is just you can follow the history of boxing follow the history of martial arts. Martial arts go all the way back to the, you know, way back in China sometime, you know. But you learn all this, you know. Mm -hmm. The weapons are an extension of you, basically. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, uh, so I'm excited to see this. It's on El Raid Network. El Raid Division. Network. Man at arms. Absolutely. Can't wait to see how this all goes. It looks beautiful right now. Thank so. you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much.